Agus, uh, Tomid, Bio Anish. Hi, Corda. Uh, the Fodge Rovig and Eha Olis Show, um, by Mahane, uh, on Prevident Show, uh, Agus, uh, Patricia Ilerta, a kind live, Madeline Rowena over, uh, Dun Kuiguvlin. So, um, the Kun Day, Beg Session, uh, Tatnavuk. Uh, I hope we'll have an enjoyable session here where we'll give you information on as much as we can on subjects that might be required for, for college, how to make the choices on VSWare, and I suppose at the end, if you have any questions, uh, there's a Q&A on the right hand side there of, uh, uh, of your screen, and you should be able to, uh, uh, any questions, be, you should be able to put them in there. So if you want during the session, uh, please write in any question, uh, I will see it. And then I'll be able to either put an answer back to you or Patricia, I'll be able to ask Patricia here as well, uh, who has the experience on subject options and she might be able to give the answers at the end. So we hope to be finished uh, within the hour. Uh, that's the plan. Just a few things uh, uh, I'm going to start with. The subject options, I opened it, it today. It is open from today until the 12th of April. Some people might have seen that I said the 3rd of April 1st. It is not, it's it's the 12th of April. I changed that, uh, the initial date was wrong, so it's open until Friday the 12th of April. And the second thing to just remember is that VSWare are actually doing maintenance works, not the best of timing, and this will occur from the 31st of March until the 3rd of April. So that means between those dates, you will not be able to enter your subject options. So you have until the 31st of March, or after the third until the twelfth, you can enter um, subject options as many times as you want. It doesn't matter if you're first in or last in. Uh, you can go back in again and change your subject options. So, by my kind to reach for the conversation, Ian, um, but I suppose Disha and Prevra Dave now to Shisha Igiri. Brat new earn a hover show. I shouldn't hover at all fall. Okay, by Changa Ian of Ignadalti to be doing a language. French or Spanish, the subject that they did for their junior certificate. Agzin Shin to Narawan Ella. To Kuig over Deig. There's 15 options there that you can see from sciences to practical subjects to creative subjects, social subjects, and business subjects as well. And Patricia, uh, who will pass the computer over to uh, in the next 20 seconds, big shish kind, free Narawan show, and the things to be mindful of. The other thing that I will be talking about is. ATG uh, or LCTP, and when we come to that, well, I'll be able to tell you more about that additional subject, which is very, very important. Okay, so Tomikon uh, and Reaver Horta, Patricia Shaw, and Chuck Mrashkov, Igawan Tamling. Gormil Magad. No. I brought him in now. Oh, okay, Anish. So, Cafe uh, Wilshevelyog. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go through a number of slides here over the next hour, and I'm hoping at the end of it all that it will be all a little bit more familiar to you. But you know, please contact the school if you have any additional questions or if there's something that you can't hadn't thought about tonight and you need answers for. There's no problem. So you may or may not have heard of the word matriculation. So that relates really to universities where there are matriculation subjects that you must have in order for you to be able to uh, qualify to apply for a course at university. And we'll also look at the point system. And as the principal was saying there, the uh, Leaving Cert Vocational Programme, which is, which is a programme as opposed to a subject. And it is a very, very important subject and we'll talk about to you about that uh, further on in the presentation. So to explain what matriculation means, there's two things involved when you want to get into college. So there's at the one hand, there are subject requirements and secondly, there is a point system. So now your sons and daughters are entering a point system. So up to now, that wasn't the case right through junior cert and their fourth year, but they're now going into senior cycle and they're starting to learn all about the point system and what exactly that means. So what matriculation means is that there are subjects that they must have regardless of what course they want to apply for, particularly at university level. And in, in Kulush and the Kurba, 
all of those subjects apply. The one subject that is not considered for matriculation is the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme. So, for example, some courses within the HEIs, that's the Higher Education Institutes, have more specific entry requirements. So, in addition to having the matriculation requirements, they would have specific requirements for particular courses. For example, engineering at the University of Galway requires a H5 and two subjects and an ordinary six or H7 and four other subjects, including Irish and English. They also have a requirement to have a science subject and at least a H4 in higher level maths or a pass in the special maths exam. So what the special maths exam means that if a student is taking higher level maths and for whatever reason they didn't receive the H4 in their leaving cert, there is a second chance exam in August where students can sit a similar type of maths questions to what they sat in the leaving cert. So if they have met the points requirements and what they now need to meet is the H4 and they pass that exam in August, then they would be eligible to take that engineering course. So then if a student has achieved the minimum entry requirements matriculated, he or she is deemed qualified or eligible to apply for a place. But then we're coming into what they mentioned earlier about the point system as well. So if more people apply for places on a course than there are places, then they also need points. So it is a supply and a demand when it comes to a lot of courses at third level now. So on the one hand, you have to meet the subject requirements. On the other hand, you need to meet the points requirements. And then based on the number of places available, it becomes supply and demand. So if the supply is higher than the demand, then there is a chance they get on the course. If the demand is higher than, than places, the opposite occurs. So note that some pupils are exempt from certain matriculation requirements. So what that means is, and this is very, very important, if your son or daughter has been diagnosed with dyslexia, that they have a, an educational psychologist report, it may already be in the school or you may have in the past a few years that they have been diagnosed with dyslexia, they can and the school can apply for an exemption from a third language. Now, some students who have been diagnosed with dyslexia are very comfortable with the foreign language, the French or the Spanish, but some may struggle because dyslexia can affect languages and spelling and reading and writing in particular. But some students who may have been given a mild diagnosis are very comfortable and may not require that exemption. So what that means is if they apply for a course where a third language is one of the entry requirements, because they've received that exemption, they can still apply for that course. It will, however, affect the matriculation requirements insofar as they must still have six matriculation subjects in order to gain uh, access to a course at university. So it's the students at the end of the day, it's the students responsibility to ensure that they have the correct subjects and are considering whatever subjects they're choosing for their course. And it's the students responsibility to be aware of what subjects are needed for specific HEI or higher education institutes and particular courses uh, with those in the HEI. So they have been carrying out research throughout the year. So it's very important that they you know, if there is a specific course that they have already considering doing that they have figured out and they have got the, done the research so that they know the specific uh, requirements needed. I'll talk some more about that later on. So generally students will take seven subjects and then as we mentioned earlier about the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme, that is an additional subject. So they would have eight for those students who are taking uh, seven subjects and the LCBP, they would have eight subjects. So we'll give you the information about the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme. It's very, very doable and it's just one class per week, but the principal will talk to you about that in a few minutes. Regardless of the number of subjects that a student take, it's the top six subjects that are counted for points. So having seven subjects, there is always 
a danger maybe that one subject is not going to go well for a student on the particular day and they always have a fallback. That's why it's very important to have that extra subject. So all subjects in the Leaving Cert bar higher level maths have carry the same number of points. If a student is taking higher level maths, then there is a bonus of 25 points for all uh, for math subjects, provided they get 40% or over. So the maximum number of points a student could get would be 625. Honours level subjects, maximum is 100 points. If you want to add the honours level 25 points, that would where you would get the 625. Ordinary level subjects, the maximum points that you can receive is 56 points. So if you have gained the minimum subject entry requirements for a course, you have qualified for it. If more people, as I mentioned earlier, apply for that course and there are places, then the point system is used to decide who gets those places. So that's how the point system, it's again like supply and demand. OK, so this is just a quick um, overview here of how the point system works. So they go from H1 to H7. However, for just for the higher level maths, they must receive a H6 or higher in order for them to get the 25 bonus points. And your ordinary level goes from 56 points down to zero. So again, uh, uh, they must receive <coughs> the equivalency of a H6 is six points. The ordinary six would be 12 points. And the, the equivalent to a H1, which is like an ordinary one, is the equivalent of 56 points, okay? Just a little thing there on the on the right of that, where the, this leaving cert vocational program, which we will be explaining to you in detail in a few minutes, it's marked differently. So it's marked like a pass, merit, or distinction. So if they receive a pass, they get 28 points. If they receive a merit, they get 46 points. And if they receive a distinction, they get 66 points. So again, the 66 points for any student who may be taking one lower su level subject, it's 10 points higher than the highest mark that you can get there, which is 56 points for ordinary level, okay? So how do you choose your subjects? This is this is where the, the nuts and bolts come into it. How do your son or daughter actually choose their subjects? So again, this is a list of uh, that you've seen earlier. These are the subjects that are available here at College in the Curb. So you have your languages, you have your sciences, you have your practical, you have your creative, your social group and your business group. OK, so there's three businesses, there's three options for your social group. There's in your creative, you have art and music and in your practical projects, you again have three choices and in your sciences. You have three and you've also got your applied maths and there are two languages, French and Spanish. So what subjects do I need to get into my preferred college courses? This, these are the questions that your sons and daughters need to be asking. And most importantly, at this stage, what subjects do I enjoy and what subjects will I do well at? That is very, very important at the moment, rather than thinking down the road three years. And, and I know they have if there if there are students who have a very specific course that they want to take, there will be specific subjects that they must have for that. But by and large, if they take five subjects, if they take Irish, English, maths, uh, Spanish or French and uh, science subjects, they are pretty much covered for all courses out there, but I will go into detail about the few courses that have very specific subject requirements. So the options here, we have English, Irish, Maths, and then your modern language, which will be the language that you have already been studying since junior cert, either Spanish or French. OK, and then there are, as the principal mentioned earlier, there are a choice of 15 subjects to choose from here at College in the Curva. So the modern languages, as I mentioned there, are French and Spanish, and they will choose those. If they've already been studying them, then they will continue to study them. However, if anybody out there have been fluent in another language, because we have a lot of foreign nationals in, in the country at the moment, which is fantastic, and they may be wanting to choose another modern language. We just put an example there of Polish, but there could be many, several different languages. They can study that subject 
or they can apply to sit a, the Leaving Cert in that subject. It is not that we will be providing that subject in the school, but they, they can apply to sit the Leaving Cert in that subject. So to keep their options open, many, many courses will require a third language. So, the, so any arts courses at, at university, commerce, law, medicine and biotechnology, among others at University of Galway. That's just a sample of courses that requires uh, a third language. OK. There are two websites that your sons and daughters would have been working on throughout the year, and th there's all of the information that you could need. There's qualifax.ie and careersportal.ie. There's also their own subject teachers, which they should be chatting to about what like the difference will be uh, up to junior cert for a particular subject, as opposed to because there can be a big jump uh, when you're going into leaving cert. And it's very important that they chat to the subject teacher and also to chat to the guidance counsellor for any information that they may need at this particular time. So just um, the Qualifax, it's the national database. It's the, Leaving, the guidance counsellor's national database. So there are two areas at the moment which you can focus on, and one is called the Leaving Search Subject Choice and search courses. So you can search the courses and it shows you all of the CAO courses. There are courses that are that where points are required and where, where the courses are and what the point system has been for a number of years. And um, the Leaving Cert subject choice will show you the breakdown of every subject. So for example, if your son or daughter is somebody that really are very good at meeting deadlines, they like that there's a project based to their subject where maybe 50% of their exam has already been completed before they sit the written exam, or if there's somebody that would just prefer a 100% exam starting in June, that's something to consider because it's, it's, very, it's very, very good if they are good at meeting deadlines and they're good at doing project work because a lot of their, the stress of the exam is, is over, if you like, before they even sit their written paper. So this is just a snapshot of what it is going to look like on careers portal. So it shows all the different groups, the science groups and the practical groups and the artistic groups and all you can look go in and look at all of those subjects, click into the subjects and look at the exam structure and it will show you the breakdown of the exam where there is a project base and where there is a written exam and what percentage of the uh, exam has already been completed. And there's also a list of different ones there on the right, say, for example, if you wanted to become a primary school teacher, subjects that would be useful to take. If you want to do architecture, subjects that would be useful to take, etc. So you, the parents and guardians, are the most influential for uh, when your students come to the stage where they have to choose their subjects or whatever you know, they need to choose, they will always look to their parents. So it's very important that you discuss subject choice with them, but allow them to make the decision at the end of the day, because if you don't allow them to do that, then and they don't like the subject, then they're going to say, well, I was forced to do this or I was forced to do that and I didn't want to do the subject, but just go through it in detail. Their teachers will be able to tell them exactly what the course entails and if what the big difference might be from their junior search exam to their leaving search exam. But it's very important at the end of the day that they do choose and they're going through the tasters at the moment, so they are getting a flavour of what the subjects will entail anyway. But following that, if they're still a bit confused, it's very important that they do just reach out to everybody in the school that they need to, their teachers, the guidance counsellor, principal, vice principal, whoever, and their colleagues, even the colleagues that are already in fifth year and leaving cert. And we had a very good um, afternoon or morning and afternoon yesterday where many of the fifth year students gave their time and they spoke to the fourth year students about the subjects that they're taking and what they like about those subjects and what they didn't like about those subjects. So I hope that they found that very helpful. So in order to be sure, you need to, the, what you need to do is, and to make sure that you're keeping all your options open, is that you choose your third language with Irish, English and math. So generally speaking, those four, every student will be taking those four subjects and then they will choose a science subject. 
But however, there's no point in choosing a subject if they really, really are struggling with that subject at the moment and do not want to continue it. It's very, very important that they don't continue struggling with a subject they are already struggling with. So, for example, we'll go into the more detail about what is required, where I mentioned earlier that there are specific requirements for certain courses. So if a student is interested in engineering or medical or paramedical or science or computers at university, they may need to pass at least one laboratory science subject. So at the University of Galway, you, one science subject will get you into medicine. University College Cork, they need two science subjects. So. It's just um, important to know you don't have to have two science subjects if you wanted to do medicine. If you have two science subjects, your, your primary degree will take five years. If you have one science subject, it takes six years. So again, science subjects, uh, one science subject minimum is required for those courses. So science, radiography, nutrition, computer science, P, et cetera, et cetera. There's no need to read them all. We, this will be going up online, but the, just to be aware, you know, that there are there are quite a lot of subjects that do require science because sometimes students come to me and say, you know, I don't need a science subject. And then I say, well, what do you, what would you like to do? And they might say, well, I'd like to do nursing or I'd like to do architecture. And I'd say, well, are you aware, you know, that you will actually need a science subject? So for biology, biology is very desirable for courses in nursing or medicine or pharmacy, nutrition, genetics, home economics, beauty therapy. That's just again a small sample of courses where biology is very desirable. Physics. So if you wanted to do theoretical physics in Trinity, you must have physics. So very relevant and desirable subject in engineering. It's not an entry requirement, but if you were considering engineering and computer uh, computer software, it's not necessarily necessary to get it to get onto the course, but it would be very useful when you're doing the course. And the type of students where physics may suit would be students who are interested in the following careers, for example, physics, electrician, optician, doctor, dentist, engineer, computer technician and computer programmer. Chemistry is required and you must have chemistry if you want to do human nutrition and dietetics. dietetics. Dentistry, you must need to have a H4 in chemistry and a H4 in physics or biology. So there are specific courses that there are specific subjects that you must have for. Also, chemistry is required for pharmacy and it is required for veterinary medicine at UCD. So medicine in some colleges, there are specific combinations. In all colleges, if you enter with two science subjects, you can qualify in five years, as I mentioned earlier, or six years if you just have one science subject. OK. OK. So, so uh, the principal is going to just um, talk to you about the Leaving Cert Vocational Programme now. OK, Gramida Maga, Patricia, and just uh, just a bugger right. The uh, Migri kind for you and Arthur Scarmul new a Leaving Cert vocational programme. So I suppose the Leaving Cert vocational programme is an additional programme that's best described as, I suppose, uh, as a practical subject. Um, I recommend that most students should do this and I'll be going through why, but it gives them, I suppose, a grounding in a lot of uh, practical stuff that's happening in the real world. Uh, in terms of uh, seeking jobs, business enterprise, meeting um, businesses, uh, they do talks with, we get um, uh, talks in from different business uh, people and, and they write up reports on these different businesses. So it's really, it's about getting ready for the, for the, the real world when they finish in school. So, um, yeah, as I mentioned there, we'd have uh, visitors invited in, uh, the students would have to write up reports on this. This will, will become part of their project work. They visit sites, uh, uh, different businesses around the area, and again, it, they have to build a report based on those visits. And just, it's very much, I suppose, a practical subject where students can really get involved in it and feel that, that there's a benefit to this after they, le they leave school. Um, we would have entrepreneur talks as well who come into the school and again that would form part of the Leaving Cert project or portfolio that they have to do. Uh, 
So came for Ghanaian Foyshaw, why would you do this? Okay, the advantages, and I think there's many. The exam and portfolio are completed before the student finishes classes in May. So that's one less exam in June, and that's an advantage. So the portfolio work is finished early on in sixth year, and the, le the Leaving Cert LCVP exam occurs in May. That's the subject out of the way. It can be, as I said, a safety net. Uh, if, you, if you're worried about how you're going to do in maybe one or two other subjects, it's great to have this subject in the bag uh, in some way if you have to work down. The fact that it's done earlier in May, well, it means that you can you can focus on the other six subjects um, that you're doing for the Leaving Cert in June. And as I mentioned, it bridges the gap, uh, I suppose, between the Leaving Cert and valuable real work life a workplace experience. And finally, I mentioned there again, just Mata Dalta Igmuhu Lagig over again. If you feel uh, as a student that they might be feeling weak at a, a certain subject, the LCVP again is a safety net um, where they can get points early on in the year and not have to worry about it uh, when it could come June. Freshen, just a, a reminder there that LCVP is beneficial for anyone who has five or less higher level subjects. So a distinction is worth the same points as a H4 on a higher level paper. So that's very important. So if you have five or less higher level subjects, uh, LCVP will be very beneficial to that student. So can I say brilliant? Well, to Chunskinov, I guess Skrudu Shkrifa. So the project work is 60% of the marks are given for the portfolio. That portfolio is based on the entrepreneur talks, the site visits, and everything that they've done over the two year period. For the project work, I suppose the most important thing is they must attend class. They must be in class every day in fifth and sixth year because the project is based on that classwork and those site visits and those entrepreneur uh, entrepreneur talks that take place during those classes. And then the written exam, as I said, in May, not in June, so occurs almost a month earlier, is 40%, and then you're finished less on overshin. And the Markana Marluik Patricia Tasha Difrul on um on the on the Harvard Ella, so it's a different system, but you can see there a distinction is worth 66 CEO points, a merit is 46, and a pass is 28. And all I can say is from my experience in this school, you know, Iring Gohintukle, Forver and Nalti. Majority of students do very, very well in this subject once they're in class and they do the work on a daily basis. So Tashin on Tavluk. So I suppose Dom Hain um, or Free Vida. Uh, to me, really, dearest Jack Aaron Overshaw, I'm really focusing in on this subject for next year because I feel, you know, the students there and we will be sitting down with them that this subject would really benefit them. So we want to make sure that we've had this chat with them this year in TY so that in fifth year that they're going to take this option because the benefits are there for them. OK, so I will pass it back to Patricia Rich. I'll ask Patricia just a kind of a couple of umbrella and then big and piece of dinner, big and kind of a VS where and how you enter the subject choices. I mean, I'm good. Welcome back, everybody. So just to talk about the practical subjects that we have here uh, at College to the Curb, and as I mentioned earlier, these practical subjects uh, really work very well for students who are very good meeting deadlines and doing the type of project work. So, for example, DCG, it, it's a continuation of the technical graphics that they would have been doing up to junior cert. So 60%, there's a 60% board drawing exam, and then there's a 40% practical portfolio based. Uh, work to be done. So you have 40% of your exam completed before you do the board drawing exam. Construction studies, again, construction of construction or uh, continuation, my apologies, of material te technology would, which they would have been doing up to junior cert. So there's only a 50% exam left once they do the written exam because 25% has already been completed as project work and 25% as practical work. Technology, there's 50% exam, 25% project work, and um, sorry, 20, 50 exam, 25% project work for construction studies, and 25% practical. So all of the practical subjects have a project element and a portfolio element, and the written exam in all cases is 50% or 
maybe 60% for one of them. So useful, uh, the construction studies is useful, but not necessary for a career in construction. So if some of, a, if your son or daughter wanted to become, a, do an apprenticeship, it's very useful if they want to become an electrician or a quantity surveyor, civil engineering, teaching. So what kind of student would construction studies suit? It is recommended that a student taking the Leaving Cert construction studies has a general interest in building and the built environment. And each student should have an aptitude for and an interest in design and practical work. So these are the kind of um, questions that and these are the kind of discussions that you need to be having over the weekend in relation to to what is involved in the practical subjects as opposed to subjects where there's just 100 percent exam uh, at the end of your study. So we have three groups in the business, the accounting, business studies and economics. So accounting is required for just one subject uh, at university and there's a H4 is required for somebody who would want to study Bachelor of Commerce with accounting at the University of Galway. OK, so somebody that would be considering uh, accounting is important that um, they are taking higher level maths and that they feel comfortable with maths because it's a very mathsy subject as opposed to business. It is possible to actually study business at third level without having taken business at Leaving Cert. So there is a, an overlap between business and the LCVP because a lot of what's happening in the LCVP is business related. So again, it would be an advantage for students taking the LCVP if they would have considered business as well. And our third grouping there is economics. So again, you can study economics at third level without having uh, taken it at Leaving Cert. But students who would have taken economics for their Leaving Cert has a distinct advantage to students who may not have. So uh, careers in the central bank or finance or insurance, economist or consulting and management would be just a small sample of the kind of careers where economics is very, very important. History and geography here at College of the Curve is very uh, hugely popular and 20% of exam again is project based. So it's again, you know, you're left with part of your exam having been completed before the final exam. Ideal for students who have strong English language skills and are able to write. Students um, uh, aiming to improve their self-discipline and research skills. Um, history and geography may be uh, subjects that they would consider. Oh, sorry, I think it jumped forward two slides there. So home economics. Again, there's a, it's project based and there's a 20% journal or So lots of students may get confused because they would have done quite a bit of cooking up to junior cert, but there is less focus on cooking uh, at leaving cert level. So practical cookery assessed through written exams only. Textile electives, fashion design, social studies, home uh, design and management are part of what the project may entail. Much of the course is theory based as opposed to maybe cooking and being practical based. So there would be a strong interest in this subject required before a student would consider it because it's not necessarily, well, no subject is easy at leaving cert level, but it's just that having a strong interest in home economics and having had a strong interest in home economics up to this point it would be very important. So our creative subjects then are art and music. So again, uh, practical assessment, 62% of the mark, which is very high in art. Art history, any student that has done art up to now, there was no history, but now they have the history of art as well. So the art history theory is 38% of the mark. So requirements for art college courses and where portfolios are required. So in some instances, some courses may require a portfolio. So having your art portfolio would be very useful in there. It's a useful subject for architecture uh, if some student is considering architecture. Music again, 50% practical exam and 50% written exam. Practical exam, Easter of sixth year. The practical can be performance only or performance with music technology. 
play an instrument or sing are both are required. So again, I would advise them to speak to their teacher if they're considering music so they get they know exactly what would be involved at leaving certain level. So I think their principal is going to um, take over again and give you some more information with regard to how you apply for your leaving cert subjects. OK, Gormila Margaret, Arish, Patricia and Jenna. Just a uh, few questions. Uh, is it possible to circulate a copy of these slides after presentation? Yes, I'll be putting a copy of these slides on uh, the school website. Um, so you can see it under Note News and it'll be a recording of this with myself and Patricia uh, with our voices on it. And I'll also put a link to a copy of the slides uh, following this presentation. Um, is there enough interest in a phys, uh, if there was enough interest in a phys chem class, would it be available in school? Uh, I would not be able to put it, uh, make it available in the year coming. And that's down to ba basically allocation of teachers that I have, uh, the utilization of those teachers. And currently I'm maxed out in terms of what, how I'm using my science teachers uh, within the school, and I wouldn't have the uh, capacity to add in another science subject such as phys chem for the incoming year. And uh, this video can it be watched back. Yes, again, on the website, uh, school website, uh, free note, Fekatu, Austin Shem, Gwil, Naskin Shem, Kun, Avrehnu Yen of Error on Kurilohar, Igor, and Nut. So just coming to the very end, and uh, again, Marta Keshnella, please turn the question to Shak and we'll answer them in a few minutes. So again, there I suppose I'm running to the initial cut of what have you to do? So students um, will pick their subjects one, two, three, four, five. It says six there, but it's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and you must log into VSWare, have your login details, and uh, enter those subjects in VSWare. I'll show you that in a second. Mardur, Patricia Shin. Just be core muck. Um, Tasha Tovduk will core on that you have a good conversation about these subjects. Leave your options open. Um, don't be worried about levels at the moment and, and play to your strengths. The subjects that you like, well, they're the subjects you probably do best in. So it's very important. And Mari Lou may on ATG or the LTVP, this is a very important option uh, for students and should be considered very strongly by uh, a good cohort of students. Uh, uh, starting in fifth year. So a ground and a hover, as I said, on uh, Fuino Gorskilt, it's now open uh, and it will close uh, on uh, Friday the 12th of April. It says Wednesday there, that's a Friday the 12th of April. We're back one week at that stage. That will be the final day. So I would hope the subjects can be put in before that date um, uh, because there's much work to be done after that date to make this work. So the key thing is when you're putting in your subject options, Pyokintu uh, and Rawa is farlet as currentu stjake mar Rawa ahein. You choose your favourite subject as your first preference, and that goes in as subject one. And on you go. Your second favourite subject is your second option. Your third favourite is your third, fourth, and fifth. And as I say there, uh, fresh and sedarog, we can only run subjects if there's sufficient numbers. So it's we don't have an endless allocation to run every subject possible. We do our very best to make sure students are satisfied with their subject choices. Um, but uh, just to note, we do need to have a certain number of students to run a subject. So, Norhain to Shocker VSWare, Fekke to Rudd Marshall. You'll see um, something like this, where you have the stu subject, student options. You will click on that. Inside that, you'll see options one, two, three, four, and five. And you enter the subjects, as I said, and Rawa is Farlat, your first preference, your second preference, your third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and confirm. Make sure you confirm and it is saved. As I said before, you can go back in again and again before the 12th of April and change your options. Neil five or be listen. Up to the 12th, you can change as many times as you wish. But very important that options one to five are all filled in. So just convert on. Hull Air, very clear, uh, and just give you some final information. The VSWare subject options window is now open. Um, as I said, you can change as often as you can. It will close on the 12th, Friday, the 12th of April. As I mentioned, again, to VSWare, uh, which we use as our school platform, are doing maintenance work, not the best time that 
they could have picked um, Shin Shkelele, but that's from the 31st of March until the 3rd of April. You will not be able to enter subject options within that window. So I'd advise if the conversations are good and you know what you're doing, enter them before that date. And all five preferences must be filled in. If somebody doesn't fill in preference three, four, five, the computer will automatically pick subjects for them. So it you on top to that it goes from a hain, goody, a quick. Okay. So Shinamit at all aragum, Shin chorus, Mata in Kesht, new Neil to Solar for VSWare or Neil to Non Lagalas Jack. If you have an issue with VSWare or you're not sure or something, please contact us in the school. Um, Amorok, Agus Ernina, and Zerno, Ben Mader Lane to Sierra will be on holidays for a period or two, but please email us or contact us and let us know if you have a difficulty. Uh, very important that you have your access details to VSWare. If you don't or you have a password issue, contact the school ring, Marion or Carmel Sinific, and make sure you know Kaurulat Riv and Ina. So Kriak and Ina, uh, Tristan, Big Dini, Erlene to Sierra. Okay, so uh, I'm just a fake under Erkestina Anshin. Can students uh, do phys chem outside of school? Yes, any student can do any subject outside of school. And when it comes to sixth year, uh, uh, around March time or February time, uh, where students have to enroll what subjects they're going to sit for June for their leaving cert exams. At that point, any additional subjects, such as subjects you do outside of school, uh, they register that subject at that point and then they sit it for the leaving cert. The only thing I'd say with certain subjects where there's project work based, you need to make sure that the teacher then who's giving maybe uh, those classes in that subject, that they will sign off on the monitoring of the project work and they sign off on the finished project. Students couldn't come in here and ask a teacher to sign off on a project that the teacher has not seen or has been part of the work over the last few months. So just to keep that in mind. Um, does LCVP have to be added to the list of preferences? No, Nigo. OK, LCVP will be an additional option subject that we will in September talk to the, the group and we'll see who wants to do it. At this stage, all we want to do is make sure that you as the parents and guardians uh, realize the benefits of doing this subject, but you don't enter it as one of your five options for uh, your subject options here on VSWare. Um, is it possible to change your mind after 12th of April? Uh, at that stage, it takes me about four or five weeks to actually work this out on VSWare and, and create a timetable based on these subjects. So no, it would be very important if a student is not sure that they go to their teachers, uh, Amorok, Nunina, or the first week back, but we will have to get our subject options in by the 12th of April. That's just the deadline that we must have them in. And I appreciate this can be difficult because students are not fully sure. Um, our uh, workshop we did on Monday with Patricia and Sharon and Trasa was very good where the fifth years uh, discussed the subjects and the benefits and uh, maybe the decorative, the difficulties and challenges of certain subjects. So hopefully that has helped. But I, I would recommend that they come to us, any of us here in the school, uh, to Sharon and Shaw, to Patricia and Shaw, to Mahane and Shaw, to Trust and Shaw, and at Moon Tori. It is just very important that they, that they do that. Um, are there limited, uh, limited number of places for certain subjects? Again, that's something that I'll have to discuss with a parent or guardian if, the, if the, such a thing happens. Um, and every year we do our best to make sure that students get at least at their first or second or first or third options. At this stage, I couldn't tell, but that's why it's very important that I get the subjects all in by the 12th of April. So I have time then to discuss options with parents and students um, after such date, if we have difficulties, uh, such things as too many people picking a subject or something like that. But ni fatal moral, I couldn't say that at this moment until I see all the options in place. Um, is re LCVP recommended for all students? So uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so to, yes. to Patricia, so the Shagrall. skills that you would learn, the skills that you learn, you can carry through life. Because uh, in the last school that I worked in, I met a uh, past student, and. I actually was teaching the LCVP in that school and he said to me he didn't realise 
until he left school, how important it was to him. And when he went for an interview, how much more prepared he was in terms of researching before he went for the interview and actually carrying out the interview itself. So it is a subject that any student, even students who are taking all higher level subjects, they are going to gain a lot from doing this. And it's not, it's literally going to take up one class per week uh, in the school. So I would, I would personally say that I would highly recommend it for any student. Okay, good morning, Michael Patricia. So, according to me, Bjugnok Egandera and Niakum Ian Kishnella, a chapter Shack and Shin, but Marlou made Mata Kishna give Shul Refus Shack Egan Skull, August Big Mujan now, Chakta Rashkut. Send an email into school or ring the school if you have a query and we will do our best to help you. Well, we appreciate it. it's very hard to make these subject options and it's tough for the students to make these options too. But the most important thing is that they start talking to their teachers. Uh, hopefully they've done a lot of that over the last few months on the taster sessions as well um, and that uh, you know that, uh, that so hopefully some students might know where they are and others who need a little bit more uh, support well then now is the time to talk to us in here and we'll try and help them but it must be done over the next two days and the first week back and then we must get all the results and the subjects in by the Friday the 12th of April. So um, just concrete news, but while I'm awake, I go all the Patricia and Shalom, I thought well, Linda Nutt and I was also supporting Erin Harvey. So thanks, Patricia, for being with us tonight and uh, giving us information on well, pretty much everything to do with, with subject options, which is there's a lot involved in it. So as I said, the subject options is open now on VS Where to share Oscar Tanish, because you do know Ina and Daryl all day to me Abron, I guess only Ina Della Rogum and Shaw. Uh, Neil, I think to Gokrat Kluda, I think we've covered everything that we planned on covering and 46 minutes were not too bad. So, as I said, contact us if you want further information. Big on all the shot, the slow on the slides, August on fish or not the video of tonight's uh, Curry Law uh, will be on the school website within the next uh, half an hour or hour. And um, I guess I suppose well, Wimsha, August, yeah. Patricia, uh, Gramila Mahagov. I guess by me the kind gluags, the soon will make Koshk, that's a gut. I hope everybody has a, a lovely Easter break as well. Okay, Gramina Magov, I guess, Slanish.